Uh, Sam Roberts at the game uh, Goldington Road versus London Welsh. Well, I, I stood next to Darren Fern. Well, Darren, straightforward question. How does that feel? Oh, it's good. It's a great feeling like it's been coming. I uh, had a good win last week away and to come here in front of all fans and then the lads just a cracking performance. We were saying there we maybe could have won it by more but it's sometimes nice to just get that. It's not been going our way this season and that went our way so all, all the lads 100% effort and it's been coming so I'm happy. I'm happy for everyone. Anybody who was here and shame on you if you weren't here today to watch this game would say that probably that was the most remarkable thing was defence. It was immense today. Oh, it, it, it was it was outstanding. That last thing I came off on 60 that last 20 minutes God almighty but the boys what an, what an effort. It, honestly yeah in defence we work hard on it the thing is all season we've been working hard it's just been things that have just not been clicking or whatnot, and things going against us and it all it came together today outstanding effort especially near the end there yeah, and we stood in front of a few yards away from the London Welsh team who were trying to gather their thoughts that's a good side we've beaten today oh a cracking side the, well, it shows well, that's the first game they've lost all year and I mean they've, they, they are a good team we knew we had to front up today and especially in front of the fans we've, we've not performed the, to the level we've had, we should be performing at this season and it's come now so we've got We've got to improve on today's performance. Everything we could have maybe got a few more tries. I know <laughs> I'm, I'm, I may be blowing it a bit up there, but yeah, cracking team from London Welsh and cracking a performance by the lads. Uh, it would be a disservice not to talk to you about about the fact that scrums have had a little bit of a bad pasting in in the yeah. last few weeks, but today they were rock solid. Yeah, the past we've, we've started to get it right the past few weeks, which is good. Um, but we, we've done a lot more live stuff in training. I mean. It's it, it's another thing that as a front row player it's been so frustrating because we know we can do it and it's, it's it, for whatever reasons I think a couple of games have been had done by because people have said oh Bedford can't do this Bedford can't do that and today I mean we've, we've concentrated on week Mike Hines here put 100% effort into it and the forwards the players everybody worked today and it was it was outstanding so well done lads Sam Roberts at Goldington Road uh, alongside Patrick Tapley Patrick uh, that feels quite good I guess <laughs> yeah no second game in and uh, obviously lead league is um, yeah I can't believe that we did it <laughs> to be honest and in front of a home crowd yeah, as well yeah. must feel really good yeah no they definitely got right behind us especially in that last 10 minutes I think that's that's the difference about playing away and home like you need this crowd behind you to get you through those those hard times it, it wasn't just that though it, other things seemed to click and, and, and moments went our way and, and I suppose that's what rugby's yeah, about age, isn't it? it's all about just getting the 50-50s but right bounces like especially on like Jake's little try at the end like they could easily bounce into his, his hands and he'd have been under the post for earth but so that goes and that's rugby and two tries for you you took them quite well sir <laughs> yeah no, it's just all about just put your head down and don't look back and hope you get there <laughs> enjoy it thank oh, you well, Patrick thank you very much Sam Roberts at uh, Gorrington Road uh, after the uh, London Welsh game I managed to uh, grab a word with team manager Rob Crow. Rob <laughs> that was quite good fun wasn't it Oh, it was a fantastic uh, experience. Uh, loads of fun for all the supporters. We wanted to keep it entertaining right to the end, so we just let them come back, and uh, we knew they'd miss the kit from the, the top side. <laughs> I have a funny feeling that might not have been the case, but what a defensive display from the Blues. That must have made you very proud as a management team. Well, the, the set piece and defence was uh, what, what won us our game today. Uh, the, the spirit in the, in the squad has never been in doubt, and uh, I think uh, people realised uh, what it means to play for Bedford, uh, what the the boys think it means to play for Bedford today when they saw that effort today. The tackles were immense. Absolutely, and, and some good tries, some good finishing, and, and some some really good decision making at times. Oh yeah, I mean uh, the game plan was coming together. Uh, I think it's uh, it, it, when when they're told you you've got to play the best way to play and break down an organised full time defence like Lena Welsh is uh, is to keep the the game a little bit open and uh, they're out of their comfort zone when they don't know where what angle we're running at, where we're coming from. It's the set piece game that uh, they, these teams will will sort of prosper with. A little bit of argument at the end there, a few London Welsh fans and players a bit incensed about that last kick, uh, but it didn't go over, did it? It certainly did not. I mean, uh, you ask the referee and the touch judges, they say it didn't go over. But you know the old adage, I think it was Ian Kirkpatrick said, you can never beat a Welshman, you can just score more points than him. <laughs> it's lovely to speak to you. Cheers, Rob. Thank you. Sam Roberts, after the game, I managed to grab a word with Luke Baldwin. Luke, uh, what, after the game. What, uh, what, it was not that long after the game. Can you still remember what happened? Yeah, what no, a game true. to be involved in. Yeah, no, absolutely fantastic. Um, I think it really came together today and it's the first time all season that it has and I, I feel that it's the first time we've sort of really played the Bedford way and it's all gone our way. You know, we got the bounce of the ball but it's all from the positivity of, that we've had in training when our backs have been against the wall the last few weeks and, you know, just really pleasing. I can't say anything else. What a game to go out on for you. This is your last game in a blue shirt. What a servant you've been over the years that you've been here. Thank you. But what a game to be involved in and make it your last. Yeah, I definitely think so. Um, obviously, we knew it was going to be a tough challenge and 
everyone wants to go out I think the way I went out today really in terms of just the general team performance you know we made sure that before the game we spoke about the togetherness of the team and the togetherness of the club and and their sort of you know that rang true throughout the game in terms of our defensive effort towards the end and you know the way we attacked and the way we just thought right we're just going to go and play against these boys personally speaking I've spoken to you off mic as it were I know this hasn't been easy it's not been not been not been the most straightforward of decisions but you've made it and and we all at Bedford Blues I know wish you the best of luck with it all Thank uh, you. how does it how does it feel saying goodbye um well obviously it was a really tough decision and I'm so grateful to Mike uh you know and and how easy the transition has been to go and and how pleased he was for me I think more than anything um uh, as I've mentioned I th- there was a time three years ago before I was playing regularly at Bedford where you know I was in a pretty dark place because I wasn't playing very much and I'd just come back from quite a bad injury and Mike gave me the opportunity to come down here and play and I'll I'll be ever grateful to Bedford for making me fall in love with the game again. Well we thank you very much, we wish you all the best I have a feeling you might keep an eye on a few Bedford scores in the future, you will won't you? Yeah I definitely think so, obviously I'll make sure I keep in contact with the boys because I've got a lot of friends here and um, obviously uh, every week I'll be looking at the Twitter and uh, and everything (laughs) like that and um, yeah obviously hopefully be back up here at some point later in the year and but in a different shirt unfortunately. All the best for the future, Luke. Thank you very much for what you've done in a blue shirt. Thank you.